dear ranchers, after months of waiting, well, a couple of months since they got it my way, we finally got news on what to expect with the upcoming two, ex two expansions, updates that were expected to be out th later this year. Now, the first update, I will do a breakdown of this article that recently came out. The first article details of a new feature that we'll be showcasing um, around late spring, if I have to guess. Um, actually, towards the end of spring, I'm sorry. That would be around June the 20th, if I remember that correctly. Um, it will arrive now. That new feature would be the proto markets. Just like the name suggests, it's going to be a little market where that the player can buy items with their new box. Now you could build those gadgets yourself. However, if you're having a hard time finding the material to build that gadget, you could use the proto market to buy that item uh, if it's available. Cause they're good each day. The market will have different items to purchase. So you find an item that's available on that day. Definitely get it if you have enough new box. Now, and they showed a screenshot of what the market may look like. And the chorus is Coco, Coco Corner. If I have to assume, it's kind of telling you when the promotion is going to end. These items, I have no idea it's, it's, if it's already in the game. I think this one's new. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I think it's already in the game. Anyway, that's a good idea good idea of what to expect for the polar market. In fact, not only just the gadgets you can buy, but also toys. Yeah, they're bringing back toys for your weekly buddies. So yeah, the, the toys were in the first game, but they're bringing them back, which is really nice because that's what our slimes need. Some form of entertainment while they're still in a stuffed gorilla. Keep them company, you know? I'm wondering what the new interaction is going to be when they do bring the toys back. Of course, it will help reduce agitation for the slimes, but is there other things that is going to help with the slimes other than just agitation? Oh man, I just realized that there could be new toys for the new slimes, like uh, the one for the bad slime, ringtail, cotton, etc. You know? So that's something to look forward to. Now, the second part of the article details of the newest area that will be introduced later this fall, and that is the Grey Labyrinth, an area that was hinted very early on in the game's development. Now, the information about the Grey Labyrinth is still vague, but what we know so far is that the Labyrinth will bring a new challenge into the game. That challenge would bring prizes and other new goodies into it, possibly detailing on on the story's development. Um, now, uh, in the first part of the article, it states about the road to one. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, update yet on the road to one point zero, meaning that the game is close to its official release date. In the first game, its release date was on August 2017, I believe. You guys could quote me on that. It's been a while. Not too sure that's going to be the same for Slime Ranger 2, but we are getting closer and closer to release date. Um, even when the game is officially released, we probably will still more than like still develop more develop it a little bit more like they did with the first game and then uh, no word from any other updates since. <laughs> I think that was back in 2019 or 2020 and there was like no silence until one or two years later and I don't think they would do the same with this sequel. Anyway, <clears throat> anywho, um, this is really exciting news for the expansion. Um, there's one part of the article matching about Grey Labyrinth. Let me get a closer look. It's, uh, um, there's one part I want to read out loud. Uh, gameplay system that offers, oh, let me start over. The, the Labyrinth will also feature a new gameplay system that offers fun fluctuating levels of challenge to those that can wrangle the chaos 
that it creates. Um, it is very interesting. Be very interesting because um, there's something going on here. Chaos gameplay, something along that lines. The first thing that comes to my head is the anti gravity feature. It's a scrap content that was meant to be in the first game. It's a kind of um, anti, it's an anti gravity thing that I will show in the, in the screen. Uh, what it meant to be. So I, I don't know that's going to be it, but it would be very interesting they bring that back for the Great Labyrinth. And uh, that's pretty much it, what they imagined about it. It is extremely big on the detail, details on what the expansion is going to be. Speaking of expansions, thanks to Slime Rancher 2 leaks and news, full credit to the Gold Tar Rancher, they released screenshots of what the new uh, ranch expansion, ranch expansion, I just want to clear that out, out, not the new area expansion, just for your ranch, it show, the screenshot showcase to pictures of what the ranch expansion is going to be. It looks like it's going to be quite a rocky terrain with a few plots of land. Yeah, it's very earthy like. If I have to assume, it's probably going to be right next to where the... What is it called? It, it, it kind of has a, that ancient ruins look. It's kind of the, in the middle of your ranch. It has that big ring close to it. I, and that's what I'm assuming. What's that thing right here? I think, I think it's like a lava pit. Could be wrong. There's a little a waterfall that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a clue of what the possibly the spring spring uh, update is going to bring. So yeah, dear dear Randers, just to recap, we're expecting two new updates later this spring and fall. The first update will arrive towards the end of spring, possibly June twentieth. If I have to guess, this spring update will be a new feature included called the Proctor Market where you could buy items, gadgets, and toys alike. So save up your new box for that upcoming update, dear Rangers. Second, excuse me, second update would be the Grey Labyrinth that is that is assuming to arrive around fall of this year. That might be might be the last update for the official release date, or it could be something else. It could be closer to the um, what what what's the word? Oh, towards the end of early access, this Grey Lantern will have some few challenges as well as prizes for those who dare to go to its spooky labyrinth of mystery. Um, this labyrinth will, will have a new challenge and can play to the uh, game entirely. Something that the game does kind of need. Slime Rancher is known for simplicity, which is good. It's a simplicity simplicity can, be, can be a good good thing. However, sometimes some of us want a good challenge every once in a while. So this great labyrinth is supposedly how will help uh, scra scratch that itch. So yeah, dear I just get ready to um, experience new things that to to arrive for Slime Rancher to save your new books. Um because we're gonna buy a lot of things throughout the entirety of the year, especially fall season. Hopefully the Grey Labyrinth will include a new slime. We haven't got a new slime since well the Saber Slime, but I don't really count it because Saber Slime did show as its Largo form in the first game. Um, if I have to go with new, new, that's probably the original Rainbow Slimes, which is the cotton bat, ringtail, a uh, flutter, angler, like those slimes I'm talking about. So, in other words, the very beginning of the of of Slime Rider Two. So, yeah, I think Winter Park's kind of overdue for a new slime to bring back. But hopefully, we do get something like that later on development. But for now. We have a spring to look forward to. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And like always, stay weekly.